All right, since you people don't seem to understand the severity of this, but you have seen the lies that the media is putting out there, and you have seen the lies. You've watched the lies in the media, them coming out with their fucking bullshit, and you haven't really seen it before until now, because Trump brought it all out. Maybe now you'll start understanding conspiracy theorists that aren't really conspiracy theorists. They're fact checkers. Conspiracy, conspiracy theorists are not theorists. They're fact checkers. And when the facts fit, fit, the facts tell you where you're supposed to move, where you're supposed to go. You start paying attention to shit you normally never paid attention to. JFK warned about this shit. And he, he, I mean, if you ever go and you watch the JFK speech, I upload it on YouTube. It's not blocked. You can just type in the search bar on YouTube, JFK speech, and he warned against this shit. Donald Trump's exposing it. The way that he's acting on Twitter and everything, it's making them go crazy. Because they're trying to hurry up and cover it up and make it look like he's out of his mind and he's got dementia and he don't know what he's talking about. That's 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 just what it is. They're trying to convince you he's crazy so you don't vote for him again and when they impeach him, you accept it. We're coming to a civil war. Now, there's a clip that I want to show you at the end of this and I want you to watch it wholeheartedly because I am not the only one who believes this shit. Who sees it coming? I mean, shit's coinciding with the Bible. That's fucking scaring me. I'm seeing the media lie to me. That's fucking scaring me. I'm seeing fucking senators bullshit me. That's fucking scaring me. They're not really bullshitting me. I see through the bullshit. I know they're bullshitting me, so they're not bullshitting me. I'm seeing them lie. You got a guy who won governor in New Jersey all because he wants to pass fucking marijuana. Listen, I got no problem with marijuana, and I love to smoke it when I can. But I'm not going to give up my liberties to make that fucking free. To, to make it so I can walk down the street smoking a joint. Or not lose my job. I'm not going to exchange my liberties for that fucking shit. Even though that is one of my liberties that they have taken away. I'm not going to do it. And I'll never look down on a person for smoking weed. But this is what's happening. There are more of us than them. And they know this. They've always rigged the election. This time they got caught rigging the election, and they didn't rig it enough. They did not expect Donald Trump to win. They thought it was the biggest fucking joke in history. There's no way he's, he's going to win. We're too fucking dumb, right? Right? And that's how they treat us now. We're too fucking dumb. Even though we voted him in, we're too dumb. So you don't think that they're not going to start... Rigging the elections now? I mean, the first thing I saw in California was, I mean, even they don't have to because they're a blue state, they're registering illegal immigrants to vote. They're starting to do it in New Jersey, and then when this donor gets in, we're fucked. We're never going to be a red state. Never. So, I want you to watch this. This is coming. And for all you people who sat on the couch and didn't go out and fucking vote, I mean, look, listen, listen. New Jersey. I think this is an insane number. 8,555,000 people in the state of New Jersey. Only 2 million went out and voted. This is the severity of this. This is why they really don't have to rig this election in the state of New Jersey because you people are fucking lazy. And I hope all you Trump supporters out there and you Republicans that are watching this video... I hope you go out and you find out your friends that didn't vote. And I hope, I hope you get them drunk and trip them at the fucking bar and let them fall on their fucking face and bust their nose open. That, that's how I feel. Because I'm going to do that if I ever get a chance. Oh, fuck yeah. And I'm going to say, oh, I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> vote. Maybe you won't have no more accidents. You know, you know what I'm saying? But seriously, there's a lot more people like me out there. I mean, you got this whole continental United States. And there's a lot of people that feel the way I do. And a lot of them aren't posting videos like this. But on on their behalf, this video goes out to you. Peace. So, I want you to watch this trailer. This is coming. I don't care if you have to make your guns and hide them in your house and you can't take them outside. 
but understand this is coming and I would rather die fighting than live in this fucking world it's just it and what the Bible says is that these people are going to win because of your ignorance and your laziness to go out and fucking vote these people are going to fucking win your lack of sense of fight because you're too fucking goddamn lazy pardon my French but they're going to get what they want and we're going to die and then once they have to live in something that they created they're not going to like it and they're going to fight and revolt and then that's going to be the end of it it's a shame that we got to go through this but it's going to happen so I want you to watch this video here it is Now that you saw this clip, this was a concept trailer. They were going to turn it into a movie. They were trying to very hard. I just want to let you know that the man who produced this and created it, who was going to film the movie, who was going to make it, to open your mind up to it happening, was killed along with his family and his home. So he couldn't make this movie. This is how stupid the government thinks that you are. I mean, this is why so many people that go to testify against Hillary end up dead. I mean, you people can't fucking see this. You're that goddamn fucking stupid. The man who was going to make this movie, he finally got the funds to do it, and his entire family was killed in their home while they slept. This isn't conspiracy. This is a fucking fact. Let this conspiracy shit drop. There's no conspiracy theory out there. It's all a fact. It's it's conspiracy, and it's fucking fact. Now that you're all woke and one year into the Trump fucking regime, the presidency of the United States, now that he's won and he's exposing these people for what they are, now you can fucking see it, and now I'm going to share it all with you. Yes, I am. I hope you people wake the fuck up. 